a comment about the, the Green Party can do better, and um, we got some very, very good things cooking coming up for our convention in August pertaining this very issue of capitalism. So stay put, because the Green Party is about to go through a very, very interesting transformation yeah. forward from the bottom and to the left. Yeah. Without further ado, I would like to introduce the very Mike Crenshaw that was being uh, chatted up with, a cultural activist, revolutionary, hip-hop artist, and an all-around warrior for justice and peace and the revolution. Thank you. How y'all doing today? It's hot, right? We need it to be hot, though. We need to recognize what time it is and be so present in our bodies that we can't be mistaken. We need to be uncomfortable. We need to be driven and ignited and excited to do the right thing. You know what I'm talking about? Big up to Jill Stein for president. Big up to the Poor People's Economic Human Rights Campaign. Big up to the March for Our Lives 2016. Big up to the Green Party. It's a beautiful day to see you people out here today because we're on the cusp. We're at the culmination of so many different cycles. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about a physical thing, an intellectual thing, a spiritual thing, a social, political, economic thing. Y'all know who Dr. Francis Cress Wilson was? Rest in power. Her and Dr. Neely Fuller in Deconstructing White Supremacy talked about the nine areas of human activity in society. Education, economics, entertainment, labor, law, politics, sex, religion, and war. And when I first heard the list, I was like, why is entertainment on there? Because I figured, I just want to watch the game. I just want to turn all the way up and listen to the music and feel good. Because I work too hard to think too goddamn much all the time. Right? But the thing is, when I was a shorty, I used to have to come home from school to turn on the TV to be inundated. Now we all got devices in our hands. You see what I'm saying? Culture is a powerful thing. I've been all over the world, and I see how powerful black youth culture is to every nationality and ethnicity all over Earth. Do you think? Do you think that it's an accident that every time I turn on the radio, commercial rap music has about five songs in rotation, and it's all about selling dope, killing people, getting material, and having sex? Now, in the same time, I got one in four young women between the ages of 14 and 25 HIV positive in the hood. I got one in four black men, prison probation or parole. I got the prison industrial complex, and I grew up in a time where they killed the manufacturer. They either shipped it overseas so they could deregulate it and pay people pennies on the dollar, or they automate it. And the question is, why would I pay a human being a fee to do for me what I can get a machine to do for free? Now, in the interim, what do you think they're going to do with all of us who have been thrust out of the economy, who are no longer employable? We have always been either expendable or exploitable. And that's the framework from which my cultural activity comes from. Y'all want to hear some music? Make some noise! You didn't play on that machine back there. I couldn't bring the band with me, and if the machine don't work, that's fine. <laughs> 